Hi everyone, Arwen from Evenstar. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts video for this week. And today's topic is how to get back to work or school for the new year without feeling totally down and negative about it. Before I get into that topic, I have opened up my books for new clients for 2018 now. I do have a couple more days off um, before the school year starts but I've got very good availability over the next few weeks and would love for you to come and make a booking to have a wellbeing assessment with me and an energetic balance. All right, so today's topic about starting off the new year with your work or study in a positive frame of mind is something that no doubt is really important to a lot of people out there. So if you're, um, perhaps you've already gone back and you're finding it really hard to get out of bed in the morning as opposed to how you were jumping out when you're on holidays, or perhaps you've got a few more days off and you're ruining them by thinking about how much you really were wishing that you could just stay on holidays for the rest of your life. So yeah, who wouldn't want to stay on holidays always, huh? So that old adage of if you do something you love, it never feels like a day of work is really valid. And you will find that if you're doing something where you are contributing positively to society, you feel like you are helping people, whether that be your clients, internal or external, um, or other people that you work with, and you have a humanity plus job where you're contributing to the betterment of the planet overall for the future of, of us all, then the work that you do feels, I guess, like less of a drain. Now, certainly for most people, changing your job at the drop of a hat is not going to be possible, but certainly changing your attitude and how you go about your everyday work life is possible. You are completely in control of your thoughts and you are the person that can make that change for yourself. So why is it that we want to um, spend our life as if we do when we're on holidays? Well, there's a few different reasons. One of them can be that when you're on holidays, you actually spend a lot more time in nature or outdoors. So obviously this isn't true for everyone, but if like many, many people in the Western world, you spend your working life inside, often in front of a computer, then your holiday is dramatically different to that. You're outside, you're often in nature, you're um, with trees, you're by water, especially in our Australian summer holidays, everyone's down the beach. And this actually acts to balance out the ions in our body and your body needs that to function really well and for you to actually feel good. So that is often the case why we feel so wonderful on holidays. It's not just that we're not going to work, but it's that we're spending more time outside. So what can you do about that? There are probably a lot of things. So make sure that you spend what time you can outside. So um, you may want to consider riding or walking to work or at least part of the way. Can you get off a train um, a stop earlier? Can you park your car a bit further away and walk to work? Incorporating that walking, being outside into your day is very, very possible if you just think a little bit creatively about it. If you take a lunch break, then try and get outside. Even if you don't need to go and buy lunch, get outside, go for a walk then, go and sit in a park and you will reap the benefits of doing that. Now, if you were sitting there going, oh, lunch break, what is that? Then you really do have a problem. So the next topic that we need to cover here is time. Basically, it's very simple. If you do not put time into your well-being, at some point you're going to have to put time into illness. So if you don't look after yourself and prioritise doing things that are good for you, such as being outside, then at some point in the future you're going to be ill or potentially even, let's not mince words, you're going to drop dead much earlier than you should. Energetically speaking, you're actually activating your first chakra, so the 
first energy centre of the body that I will put some links for some more information about that if you don't know what I'm talking about. So this energy centre is associated with work and career and it is actually activated by walking and being in nature. So in actual fact these things have a synergy about them. So as well as improving your health and well-being you're activating that chakra which in, ten, in turn then improves your health and well-being so it's a wonderful positive energy cycle that we get out of that so the thing is that really no matter how important you are at work you are not indispensable and the world is not going to end if you put off completing that report until tomorrow. And it is very important for you to place more value on your well-being than you do on achieving those endless work goals. That you have to keep on kicking through ever-narrowing goalposts. Your well-being, your health is so much more important than anything like that. If today you... Take a lunch break and do something for yourself, even if that something is doing absolutely nothing, then you are placing the appropriate level of value on your well-being. If you decide to prioritise leaving work on time and getting home to spend some gorgeous summer evening hours with your kids, then that is again something that you are doing for yourself that is going to benefit you and your children in the long term much, much more than you trying to achieve yet another meaningless work task. The more that individuals take this approach to their working life, the more that organisations are going to have to sit up and notice and change how they run things as well. So really our work days were put in place during the industrial revolution, the traditional work day, and it's really out of place now. And we are becoming sicker and sicker and fatter and fatter and we need to change our priorities. What are some other things that you can do? Uh, you can look after the basic aspects of your physical health and that is going to help to change your um your thought patterns and your outlook on life. So looking after your diet, your intake of water, doing exercise is all going to help you retain a positive cycle of energy. Secondly, looking after your mental, emotional and spiritual health is just as important as the first, as the physical health. And all those things I mentioned about looking after your physical health also do play a role in the mental, spiritual and physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health as well. Uh, Reiki and essential oils can help you with both those first two points and are highly recommended for you. Plan your next holiday. That's a really good one as well. Have something to look forward to visualizing and thinking about yourself in that place in that time is going to be a wonderful way to boost your positive energy as well and the last thing is think of every little bit of time that you have away from the workplace as a mini holiday as a mini break so your time after work your time before work and especially the weekends they're all little mini holidays and you need to spend time at those junctures doing the things that are really actually important in your life. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions or comments, then please contact me. I'll put a link below. And I look forward to hearing from you to book yourself in for a wellness assessment and an energetic balance. Take care. Be well.